Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to try something that I wanted to try for a long time and I have a feeling I'm gonna be kind of rubbish at. <laughs> it's something I've never done before, um, properly, um, and that is reupholster an armchair. So this could be very interesting. I'm about to go out and start stripping the chair. Um, it's just an old chair we've had in a shed for a while. Um, well, a long time actually, and we've had it for god knows how long and it's currently in a green fabric and pretty disgusting looking, so it definitely needs a little bit of love. And yeah, so I'm basically just going to take you along on the journey of this random chair upcycle <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to collect some scissors and tools that I think will help me with this project and yeah let's get cracking see how it goes so this is the chair before i do anything to it at the back it looks like it's been attacked by probably a cat <laughs> it's got really pretty legs um so i just thought it would look really nice recovered in something else Okay, I've taken the Hessian off and now I've got a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to try and take these pins out that are holding the fabric down. I think they're quite hard to get out. There you go. Yeah, I've just got lots of little pins all the way around holding down the fabric. as much as I think I can get off from this chair. Still a few bits of green down the bottom but I'm hoping I can just sort of chop them off a bit more and then cover them. <laughs> so before I add any fabric I'm going to take this bit of yucky wadding off and I'm going to add some nice new stuff on. Okay, so I've decided on this fabric, which I got from the charity shop the other day and is washed. Uh, it's still attached to the lining, but I might leave it attached to the lining so that I don't have to add another lining fabric. I'm going to start with the back bit first, I think, and then the base bit.
Okay, this is as far as I've got so far. I've just tried to do a neat-ish bit around the foot. You guys really should not be expecting anything amazing from this. But it's not looking too bad along the front. Um, it's just more these bits which are really hard to get sitting really nice and flat. And the back is just going to have to have a pillow over it. <laughs> So I'm going to try and tackle that leg next and make it look something like that. I pull the chair inside because um, the next few stages look like they need sewing and not stapling. It's looking a bit dodgy. <laughs> and I've stupidly cut too far in here. Um, so there's now a rip there, which is not good. It's now the next day and I'm trying to figure out the arms now <laughs> and how I'm going to cover them. I just did a little experiment with having a piece at the front that I stitch in like a circle uh, to try and fit the arm. Um, but the pattern before was very different, it wasn't, it was just one piece sort of squished around. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. So it obviously doesn't look very good right now. Um, but this is just me trying to figure out what to do with this part. So basically it doesn't really fit very nicely on here. I think because the bit behind it kind of goes back. My pattern piece doesn't work properly for it. So I'm kind of considering not having a piece going here and see what I can do about just sort of manipulating the fabric round somehow and see how that looks. So that's what I'm going to try now. so hard <laughs> I can't do this thought it went okay and then I realized there's a bit here that's sticking out and oh I don't know where that actually goes maybe I can tuck it in now I need to cover this section with a bit of fabric and um, that goes along there and down the front and then pins under the bottom. Just tried fitting a side on to the arm and to do that I used temporary adhesive and double-sided sticky tape. <laughs> I'm getting so frustrated and bored and I just want this to be done. Um, I stapled underneath here with that and to be fair it's holding on really well. Um, and it's not like it's going to be a professional job anyway, because it's just for me in this little room. But I think that looks alright, to be honest. So we'll see if I can do the same on the other side. same technique for the back because that's very quick and easy. Okay, I think I'm just gonna attach this nice top bit because that looks good. And then I will work on the bottom last. Okay, I'm putting on the base that 
even this isn't going well. <laughs> this is like the easiest bit. But, oh well. We live and we learn. Now that I've finished the dodgy looking chair, I'm going to make a ruffled cushion to go on the chair. So I've just made this doubled over big loop that I'm now going to stitch on a really long stitch so that I can gather it up. So I ended up sewing the ruffle by hand because it was too thick and the thread kept breaking every time I did it with the machine. So I've done that, the gathers are all in there and I'm now going to pin it to the square around the outside and sort of manipulate the gathers and see how much I need to loosen it by or tighten it and everything like that. So I've pinned the ruffles on and now I'm going to go and tack those into place and then we can just put the back of the cushion on and it'll be done. finished cushion cover and I'm going to pop it in this filler it's slightly bigger than the cushion so hopefully it'll look okay but this is the perfect size for fitting onto the chair so so I'm just going to pop that in yay oh my god that's so cute Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with this cushion. <laughs> it's so cute. Let's go put it on the chair. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. That fits perfectly at the back of the chair. The chair looks so much better with that cushion on it. It's a big distraction from all my rubbish upholstery work. <laughs> but yeah, I can finally call that a day and never ever do upholstery again. I always have to do these things to myself where they're just painful and it's a painful lesson to learn that you should just not have done it but I am quite happy with how it looks and it's just going to be in my room no one's going to come and inspect it hopefully um and if they do I'm just going to laugh about it because it's quite funny so um yeah I hope you enjoyed that fail of a video um and DIY <laughs> let me know in the comments if any of you have tried recovering a chair before or any sort of upholstery. I didn't enjoy it enough to go out and like learn more about it so I think that'll be my upholstery days over with. I did love how the cushion turned out though so I'm tempted to make some more ruffly cushion covers. So we'll see. Anyway I really hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Thank you.